Welcome to Tech in the Car. In this video, we're going to look at the new exciting advances to Mercedes-Benz's MBUX in-car entertainment system that they announced in the last couple of days. So this is coming to the new Mercedes S-Class and it will be coming very, very shortly and it's going to be filtering through to all the other models in the Mercedes range. Right now, Mercedes have the MBUX on their A-Class and other new cars and it's got two large displays and touch controls on steering wheel and a touch pad. However, this is the next generation, the next level of in-car system. The new system has a large center screen as well as the existing similar size driver's own screen, which has a new cool 3D effect as well as totally redesigned from the pixel up graphics. It's a huge improvement over the existing system and it looks amazing. And it's in 3D, don't forget that. Really, really cool. Kind of like glasses free 3D, like you might get from a Nintendo or like you used to get from 3D TVs. And the idea behind that is it's designed to make it easier to see and understand what's going on when you're looking at the driver's zone. So you're able to tell exactly how fast you're going and without having to worry about getting confused by different settings appearing in a crowded infotainment system. In the driver's zone changes to be made, there's still a classic display, there's still a sport display, but everything's newly designed. And you can choose the entire ambience of the interior from the driver's zone to the main display to the ambient lighting, just with your voice or using the in-car settings. And don't forget it's 3D as well on the driver's zone, which is awesome. Then we have the new heads-up display, which you can also control from the steering wheel, which has a new augmented reality feature, which means that it will interact with the road while you're driving, it will tell you where traffic it is, it will read the road signs, and that means that you'll be able to tell everything that's going on without you having to look down. And it's a next level of AR, something which Apple is really pushing with the new iPhone, and the new iPads, and iOS 14, and Mercedes is bringing it to cars with the idea of making it even better and easier to use. The center display also has haptic feedback now and is much, much larger, which means stuff like CarPlay and Android Auto can take up a lot more space, but you still have room for the other in-car features. And what about the back? Seeing as this is due to go into the new S-Class to start with, the back is exactly the same as the front. The controls and screens in the back are able to mirror the front exactly, so you can see what's going on. And you can use Hey Mercedes in the back seats as well, and the side light will pulse to let you know that it's listening to you. So that's an ability which no other car has right now. And of course, using the face recognition or the voice recognition, it will be able to adjust your settings exactly as you want it in the back of the car, as well as the front. Mercedes have also improved the in-car assistant. Hey Mercedes is now able to have conversational mode. Imagine you had Kit from Knight Rider in front of you in your car. Well, the new Mercedes voice assistant is now able to have conversation mode, just like the Google Assistant can do. And that means that when you're talking to the car, the lights in front of you will glow and pulse to let you know that your car is still listening to you. That means no confusion and no need to keep saying hey Mercedes to get it to respond to you when you've asked to do more than one thing in a row. So that's a big improvement. Don't you hate it when you get in the car and you have to adjust all your settings? That can be really annoying. With the new MBUX system, everything is easily controllable and it's bio-authenticated. So what that means is you can use face recognition in the car, voice recognition, or you can use a fingerprint reader in the middle of the center screen that will let you bring up your exact settings whenever you want. That is next level stuff. That is very, very, very cool. This is really cool and it'd be amazing to make a video of this when the S-Class and future Mercedes come out with this technology. So we're really hopeful that this is gonna be the start of some fantastic advances and leaps forward in technology in cars that should be there by now, bringing it up on par with the smartphones and what Google and Apple are doing right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, comment and like, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.